हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस गैस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लेट्स वी गेट वी नो दैट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड is written in terms of scalar and vector potentials b vector is equal to cos of a vector grad cross a <coughs> where a is the vector potential and e vector electric field minus grad phi minus del a by del t phi the scalar potential e vector in terms of scalar potential and vector potential we known these two equations here equation 1 and equation 2 are not the unique solution of b vector and e vector वन एंड टू आर नॉट द यूनिक सल्यूशन ऑफ रिस्पेक्टिव इक्वेशंस but b vector and e vector are uniquely defined by using scalar potential phi and vector potential a but these equations are unitely expressed by using scalar potential phi and vector potential a vector since we say equation 1 and 2 are not the unique solution of these respective equations means there are another values of phi and a in order to so the solution of these equations to swing that we use a transformation called as gauge transformation the condition of gauge transformation is the condition of gauge transformation when that the scalar potential a vector under that of gauge transformation it is changed to a dash vector which is equal to 
so modification to that of a vector that is a vector plus grad of some scalar function let us say here psi here psi any scalar function and the scalar potential phi also changed to phi dash in that of Gauss transformation and that phi dash is equal to phi minus del psi by del t. Let that one as equation number i, this one as equation number double i, these two are the condition of gauge transformation means if we use the value of that for vector potential and this for scalar potential and uh, putting that value in that of equation number 1 and 2 then we show that the values are same how to showing this one under gauge transformation this is the condition for gauge transformation under gauge transformation equation 1 will be b vector is changed to b dash vector means grad cross a vector is changed to a dash which is equal to grad cross in place of a dash substitute the condition that is a vector plus grad psi is equal to grad cross a plus grad cross grad psi here grad cross grad psi call of gradient of a scalar that is 0 we have grad cross a grad cross a is nothing but b vector which implies b vector is equal to b dash vector under gauge transformation the value of that b vector is unchanged next using that condition of gauge transformation in equation number 2 equation number 2 will be here e vector change to e dash vector means grad phi change to phi dash minus del a change to a dash del d is equal to minus grad the condition phi dash is equal to phi minus del psi by del d phi minus del psi by del t minus del by del t 
in place of a dash a plus grad a plus grad is equal to minus grad phi minus minus plus grad del psi by del t minus del a by del t minus del by del t grad psi is equal to minus grad phi minus del a by del t next that is grad del psi by del t minus del by del t grad psi this term minus grad phi minus del a by del t that one as e vector plus here grad dot del psi by del t del by del t grad psi it can be written as grad of del psi by del t these two terms are cancelled out therefore we obtain only e vector which implies that e vector is equal to e dash again it can be shown that uh, under uh, gauge transformation electric field vector electric field vector is invariant we can say hence it is shown that under gauge transformation gauge transformation the electric field vector and magnetic field vector are unchanged so these are called gauge invariant gauge invariant under the condition of gauge transformation the values of electric field vector and magnetic field vectors are unchanged therefore we call it as gauge invariant e vector and b vector are said to be gauge invariant under gauge transformation so here with the help of this video lecture we understand what is gauge transformations first you clarify the solutions of these two equations are not unique but in terms of a vector and uh, phi scalar potential phi scalar potential and a vector vector potential in terms of scalar potential and vector potential we can uh, unite these two equations means it has a number of uh, solutions as we change the value of a and phi therefore we use a condition which is called gauge transformation condition under that condition we can easily shown that the solution has not unique under that gauge transformation b is same as b dash also e is same as e dash means we can say under gauge transformation electric field vector and magnetic field vectors are unchanged and these two are called gauge invariant so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you